previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Oh! Go to hell, you f <laughs> We're going home. As a family. You got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. They told me to. You think I want to stand here listening to you pee? Yeah, still, you could have said no. They've got guns. I don't think I could have. Well, I'm done. We can go. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? No, stop! Don't hit my friend! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone! Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! We gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know. Anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? 
Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. You could have warned us. Yeah, you didn't tell us he was a fucking psychopath. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin? That's not fair! You're blaming him for the actions of a madman! I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit, jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him. What he's capable of. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right. Everybody run! Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on. We need you for something. Can we wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. We need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will move forward. Grow up, Sarah. You're gonna get us in trouble. I don't care. And don't tell me to grow up. You're just a little kid. I'm older than you. You're the one that got hit. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's 
our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. I guess I should say Reggie helped to us see you, but when we ran away. So I know. I feel the same way. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. It doesn't matter. That is a very depressing response to a simple question. I'm sorry I asked. Sorry. She's had a rough few days. It's fine. I'm sure she's just traumatized. All kids are these days. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? What about Nick? He was always taking stupid risks. Can't say I'm surprised. Poor guy. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. What a jerk. Clementine, please, you haven't even met him yet. Oh, she's not wrong. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but... Like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine and... It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. It feels more like a prison. Well, that is a very negative attitude. She's right, Reggie. Listen. I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. No way. 
fucking ain't no way. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts... strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking, there's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow, it moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. But Mike killed the walker, then took off the arm really quick, like he'd done it before. Some two or three swings, but still alive. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you gonna do? I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Just ended up bleeding out. Ended up turning anyway. Yeah, like I said, it felt like Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. So, how'd you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. Well, my first day in the hmm. US, I stopped, Looks rickety. Coffee, and the girl behind the counter asked me my name, so I told her it's Rajiv. Then, I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes. And that's when I thought, I should really get out ahead of this. Guess it's better than the ground. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. He's watching over you, so he sees you now and he knows how you feel about him. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me.
I'm trying to be good. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get in trouble. I'll talk to you later. I go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I'm to you all. I'm so tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Kenneth will be taking over Reggie's duties outside the walls, and Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, um, sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> oh. 
I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, coming up! God damn this thing! Oh, shit. Clementine! Who's this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Ugh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. I understand you're mad at me, and you've got every right to be. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all of this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving, too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. I think he's crazy. He's... <sighs> he's... <sighs> Overstressed. It's easier to just say crazy. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie. Is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. You better watch yourself. 
I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia! What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Hey. Dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. Yeah, you can kind of control it sometimes. How much it hurts. It takes practice. Really? I don't want to practice that. I don't think anyone does. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. If you don't have an opinion, you should just say so. Instead of making people wait for an answer, just like, shake your head no or something. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm going to go work now. you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm... Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... It sounds just, like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We just... Reggie, he... he didn't show us. Bill, hey, look. I didn't have time, okay? I was... I was afraid, okay? I wanted to do well. I know how close I am, I know, and I just wanted to do the best I could. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? 
But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? No, I gave no, you no, plenty no. of chances. Please, Bill. No! 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 Please! Ah! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm fine. You don't look it. Look, I know it's hard, but things will be alright. It's never as bad as it seems. Just take this stuff out to the guys and come on back. I'm gonna go check if there ain't something easier you could be doing. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done, and... Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. 
Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? your blood come all this way this is this is the welcome I get hey hey what was that for you scared me well I'm sorry about that and it's about time you got here you have any idea how hard this was all right listen we ain't got much time okay I followed y'all here best I could I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed and, well that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody <laughs> they're everywhere okay they got guards watching everything shh shh There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You know, a way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time, because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Clementine, get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is all fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. 
not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there would have the balls to say something like that? There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! I'm not sure this is a good idea. It puts us all at risk. Thank you. The kid's the sensible one. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on! You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. He's right. I saw them too. Really? It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. 
I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell'd she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you're not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble. <laughs>